After she went through a breast surgery to reduce the size of her breast to boost her self-confidence after years of low self-esteem and ridicule. Pauline Odhiambo, Odhiambo lost a total of 3.5 kilograms from her breasts after the surgery. Namukana Samuel now brings you her journey of transformation. In an African context and a layman's angle, I am here today to understand why someone will undergo a plastic surgery in the country. Pauline Adhiambu, a jovial lady and a resident of Nairobi, underwent a plastic surgery on her breast to reduce their size. I, I always had esteem issues and most importantly the breasts were too heavy. I was a 36J and it was reduced to a D. So the breasts were too heavy. That's, that's the main reason. And I had neck pains, and I had shoulder pains. A few occasions I had um, infections underneath the breast. Well, I always felt different from everyone else, different from the girls. I was taken to a boarding school by my parents. So I was very different from the rest of the girls. I didn't even want to shower in front of them. I didn't want to like dress up in front of them because I was different. And a few people had pointed out Ah, your boobs look a little too large for your age. I think the only co negative comments I've gotten are from people who do not know me and have not really seen the struggle. And it's mostly on Instagram. They, there's, there's actually one person that constantly, every time I post something, they'd be like, you looked better before. Why did you do it? And so for Pauline, the recovery process wasn't a walk in the park. I, I will not lie. I did not enjoy the recovery process at all i did not it took me a month a month of course people heal differently it will not be a month for someone else but i just took a month for myself they took out 3.5 kilograms of it, it should be both fat and tissue yeah it was 3.5 kgs dr ken alwora a plastic surgeon however explains that this process is not as easy so let's say you have like five big books on your back. I'm sure when you get home, you just want to drop, <laughs> to drop the bag. But now you can't drop your breasts. <laughs> so it's, it's really heavy on the, on, the, um, on the patient. And how we know that is because one, they'll have symptoms like neck pain and back pain. But after that, I have had testimonies of people saying, your personality has changed completely, you're a new person, and I'm feeling good. Shopping has been very easy. It was like actually the most exciting part of it, that you can get clothes that actually fit you. The process has its shares of side effects. But there is a risk of nipple loss because of the blood supply to the, to the nipple. Um, then... The other issue is sensation to the breast and the nipple. As I was told that if you just walked into a, into a hospital, they would charge between 450 to 800,000, depending on the hospital. But I went through the Gigantomaster Foundation, and they sponsor 70% of the cost, so you have to get the 30. According to the board rates for the, the surgeon's fees, of course, will start from around 200. Thousand. That's according to the 2016 guidelines of the Kenya Medical and Practitioners Dentist Board. The surgery had adverse effects on her social life. Uh, liking towards bigger people because I, I, I think in my mind, my brain is telling me, oh, he looks big, so you will look big together and something like that. But right now that I feel okay with what I look like, um, any person who is good can, you know... Namukana Samuel, Switch TV, Nairobi. Right, uh, thank you Namukana Samuel for that story. At exactly